Good afternoon, Hitchcock Tuller. My name is Ellie Arford. And I am Jack Bonesaw. And we will be your new report anchors for the 2021-2022 school year. First up, we have... Uh, we're uh, going to send it to Riley with the new students in the school. And we're uh, going to do one of those each week. And then here you go. Hi, I'm Riley Flea with HTTV Live. And I'm here with Justine. Tell us a little bit about yourself. Um, I'm 16 and I live in Redfield and I have eight siblings. Uh, what are you looking forward to this school year? Uh, just like meeting new people and making friends. How are you liking Hitchcock Tuller so far? Um, it's pretty good. Do you plan on playing any sports this year? Yep, I'm planning on doing track. All right, thank you. Back to you. Hi, my name is Riley Flea with HGTV Live and I'm here with Miss Kester. Tell us a little bit about yourself. Well, I'm Brenna Kester, and this year I'm going to be coming in as the school counselor once a week. I'll be here Wednesdays, usually, unless things change. So I will be working with any kids that need help with um, college planning, um, career stuff. If you just need to talk to someone that's not a teacher, anything that a counselor would do. So. Uh, what are you looking forward to the school year, and how are you liking it, Chakti Larry? Well, I've actually lived here for quite a few years. I live with my husband just east of town, and we have two little boys, so I've been around the area for a while. I like that it's a small town. I have friends from when I was in high school from Hitchcock to Lair. Um, my little sister, Miss Taylor, is the fourth grade teacher, and I don't know if some of you have maybe had her or not. Yeah. When, oh, you did? We did yeah. So, yeah, it's just good to be in a small town and her own family, and. Yeah. All right, thank you. Well, that was a good interview there, Riley. And uh, now we're going to send it to Jacob Miklich with the weather. Hey, it's the weatherman. Uh, so today we're looking at the seven-day forecast for Tulare. And uh, it's looking like it's supposed to be pretty nice. Uh, Friday, we have a high of 76 and a low of 59. Uh, partly cloudy for that day. And then Saturday is also partly cloudy with a high of 89 and a low of 61. Sunday. Uh, partly cloudy with a high of 75, low of 53. And uh, Monday, we have another partly cloudy day with a high of 82 and a low of 58. And then, as you can see, on Tuesday, it should be all sunny, the high of 79, low of 56. And then on Wednesday, we have a high of 82, a low of 59, and partly cloudy. Thursday, partly cloudy with a high of 82 and a low of 52. Okay, and Hitchcock for this week, uh, Friday, we're looking at a high of 76, a low of 59, and a slight chance of thunderstorms. And then Saturday, we're looking at a high of 90, low of 61, partly cloudy. And then Sunday, we're looking at a high of 75, low of 53, and partly cloudy. And then Monday, we're looking at a high of 82 and a low of 58. And then Tuesday will also be all sunny, high of 79, low of 56. And then Wednesday we're looking at 82 is a high and 59 is a low. And Thursday is a high of 82 and a low of 52. Thank you. Back to you. All right. Thank you, Jacob, for that weather report. You know, actually, the, the power just actually went out like a couple minutes ago, you know? Kind of scary. Scary. Anyways, uh, over to Riley to talk with the elementary students. I'm Riley Flea with HGTV News, and I'm here with Johnny. What grade are you in? Sixth. Uh, do you do anything fun this summer? No. No. Uh, I heard you're in junior high football. How's that going? It's pretty good. Uh, what's your favorite thing to do in class? Mm, science. Science? <laughs> All right, thank you. I'm Riley Fleet with HGTV Live, and I'm here with Gentry. What grade are you in? Fifth. Uh, what's your favorite class? Probably math. Uh, how was your summer? Pretty good. Is that all? That's pretty good. Did you do anything fun? Yeah. Yeah. And what are you looking forward to this school year? Probably gym. Gym. All right. Back to you. I'm Riley Flea with HGTV, and I'm here with Bentley. What grade are you in? Second grade. And what was something fun you did this summer? We went to Wild Water West. And what's your favorite thing to do at recess? 
play football. And then, what's your favorite thing to do in class? Reading. All right, thank you. <laughs> Back to you. All righty, thank you, Riley. Um, now to Zach for sports. Hi, I'm Zach Gilbert. I'm here with sports from HGTV Live. The HG Patriot football team kicked off their season with, with a win against Waverly South Shore. What? <laughs> yeah. what? Hi, I'm Zach Gilbert from HGTV Live. I'm interviewing Coach Salmon. And uh, so, Coach, you had a whammy of a game last week. Uh, what are your thoughts about it? You know, it was exciting to see our players come out and uh, actually accomplish what their goal was, is to win that game and, and to do it in, in, in an extreme fashion, I guess you could say. All right. I see you got Northwestern this week. What are your expectations for that game? You know, we have great potential to do the same thing that we did against Waverly, um, and, I, and I feel like we can do that. But, of course, um, I'm not playing the game. Our players do, and they have to come out ready to go. So, and I'm excited to see that. All right. Is there any ways that our team could uh, improve throughout the season? To keep working hard every single day and, uh, and uh, not giving up, which they're continuing to show me that they're able to do. And so uh, I'm excited about that. All right. I'm Z I'm Zach Gilbert from HGTV Live. I'm here with Mr. Opp, the volleyball coach. Uh, what are your expectations for this season, Coach? Um, you know, we, we lost quite a bit last year um, to graduation, so our expectations, um, I guess, coming in, just get better every game, um, improve every game, every practice. Um, you know, we're hoping to make a, a conference run for the conference title again. That's always in the back of our minds. But, you know, like I said, biggest thing is we just want to get better every game and then being playing play our best volleyball at the end of the year. All right. What's your upcoming schedule look like? Well, um, Thursday night, which is tomorrow night, we uh, play Open the Seasons Castlewood. Um, they're not a bad team by any means. Um, they got a couple of decent hitters. They're a young team, though. I'd say they're very comparable to us. And then um, next Tuesday, we will travel to Redfield. Um, we got a chance to see them in, in, in the summer camp that we were at. Um, that should be It's always a pretty good matchup, um, good rival matchup. And then next uh, Thursday, we travel down to James Valley to open up the conference season. And again, I expect them, they always put up a good fight when we go down there. So um, should start starting the season off with the bang here. All right, coach, good luck. Back to you, Jack. Thank you, Zach, with that sports update. And now I'll be going over some upcoming events this week. So on Tuesday, uh, August 31st, is picture day. And along with that, is a volleyball in Redfield starting at 5.15. Then we hop over to September 2nd, it's a Thursday this week. At 10 a.m. we have cross country in Redfield. And then at 5.15 is volleyball in James Valley. And then that Friday at 7 p.m., the Hitchcock Tuller Patriots football team will be taking on the Sunshine Bible Academy Crusaders in Hitchcock. And I would like to wish happy birthdays to Ryan Cole, Mackenzie Frankenstein, Logan Harper, Evelyn Johnson, Crystal Lynn Slade, and Mara Walker. Happy birthday, guys. And with that, that will conclude our show today. I am Ron Burgundy. And I'm Brian Fantana. Stay classy, Hitchcock Tulare. Whammy.